traffic is a huge issue in Grand Haven just because it's a condensed area and there's so much going on, but there's just not a lot of parking. It has always been a challenge for both the people who run the Coast Guard Festival and those who travel to it. We brought in Harbor Transit to cover the entire festival. So if there's an event going on in downtown Grand Haven that has to do with the Coast Guard Festival, there's a shuttle to get you in here. So every day you can avoid traffic, then park and ride all free. By the way, it includes families with strollers and wheelchairs. Starting on July 26th, people can come here and park at Harbor Island, and then our shuttle will take them to downtown. And um, the downtown pickup and drop-off location is at the corner of Columbus and 3rd Street. From that central location, you can make it to any festival event. But keep in mind, the shuttle schedule will vary depending on what's happening each day. But on the busiest day, Saturday, August 3rd, there's the parade, the shows, and the fireworks, so the shuttle system will have more places where you can park and ride. There's seven different locations where people can park on Saturday to ride into downtown. So we've got a few different churches, schools, a couple of the, um, the city halls. They're offering their parking lots for free to people, so people can come and park their vehicle and then pick up the shuttle from those locations. On that day, the shuttle is $3 round trip, but half fare for under 18, over 65, a disability, or with a Medicare card. That's just on Saturday, August 3rd. After the fireworks, there's always a big push. You know, it's usually the carnival is shutting down at that time. Um, everybody's starting to make their way home. This new system will allow you to beat the traffic on the shuttle. The police officers and Harbor Transit, they do a really good job of shuttling people out of here. I'm Rob Westerby, Fox 17 Traffic.